Good evening, everybody. Thanks for being here. We're just going to wait a minute or two until everyone can join. Good evening, everybody. We wanted to thank you for joining us for the sip and sail evening this, tonight. And we thought no better way to start an evening than with a toast. So I'd like to toast to Alma Waterways and to Celiac Cruise on uh, our first chartered cruise down the Danube River. And thank you, everybody, for being here tonight. Cheers. Hi, I'm uh, Connie Saunders. And I'm one of the co-founders of Celiac Cruise. I also am the founder of Total Travel and Events. Uh, we are the booking side of the, the Celiac Cruise. So we will manage all of the bookings and all of the travel arrangements. Um, we wanna welcome you to our event called Culture, Community and Cuisine. It's a seven night all-inclusive event that we're gonna be having next October on the Danube River. So a few housekeeping notes, we are going to be recording this uh, webinar. We have folks live on the webinar and we also have folks live on Facebook. So if you have any questions along the way, feel free to drop those into the Q&A section on the webinar or in the comments section on Facebook. Um, so we're, like I said, we're gonna be in, embarking on a seven night all-inclusive experience. The first night's going to be a hotel experience in Budapest that's going to include uh, all inclusive with meals and tours and everything before we sail on our six night sailing up the Danube. So why do we go six nights? Good question you might ask. And the reason why is because Alma Waterways is so, um, so um, excited about having us on board and they wanna make sure that everything is 100% great. So what they're going to do is they're going to remove all the gluten from the ship and then they're going to add all gluten-free food just for us for the whole week. So I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, let me pass it on over now to Maureen Basie, who uh, is the, the founder of Celiac Cruise. So take it away, Maureen. Hi, everybody. Good evening. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I wish I could see all of your faces in person. Um, it's been a while. It's been quite a year, I think, for everyone. Um, I just wanted to give a little bit of background about Celiac Cruise. I think many of you out there may already know this, but for those who don't, I thought it was an important thing to just share with everyone. So essentially, um, I don't know about you, but travel all of a sudden became very challenging. It was one of those things that really stood out following multiple diagnosis of celiac disease in our family. Long ago, long were the days of being able to just pack a suitcase and head off. It was now more weeks and months of planning where you're gonna go, 
using our apps to figure out what restaurants are safe, packing suitcases full of safe food, hoping and praying that it goes well when it's time to actually eat. And those questions, that 10 minute dialogue back and forth with our servers to hope and pray again that what we're actually eating is in fact safe. We knew there had to be another way. There had to be another way to help my family, to help you, to help those who are going to be diagnosed tomorrow in our community, to be able to just really unplug for a few days and have the chance to feel like it used to without all the worry, without all the anxiety and stress, and also the chance to really connect with others. So I know many of you probably out there were on our inaugural, inaugural sailing, um, January, 2020. We had no idea what was right around the corner. We were on a Royal Caribbean ocean ship. Um, and it was such an experience, you know, something that I think I really took with me through the next few months of those that again, that drastic change we all are still feeling. Um, just the joy of watching families being able to really connect again, having the chance to watch kids go to a buffet for the first time in their life, the tears that came with that, as well as our community connecting. It was something that was just, I think really, really caught me by surprise, how fun and what neat experience it was for people to share their story. Um, so we told you then that we would continue to take you around the world, and that's what we're doing. Um, the next logical step was to go across the pond, and we have found the perfect partner in Amman Waterways to be able to take us there. So there's a lot that we're going to hear tonight about the beautiful scenery and all the amazing towns and villages we're going to see. But I also want to make sure everybody knows of what we are doing to actually be sure this ship and our entire program is safe. That is what we promise you, and that is what we are going to ensure. So I'm gonna introduce our celiac guru, as I call her, Vanessa Wisebrode. She has been such a blessing to our team from the beginning with all of the trainings and all of the time and just to make sure this is a safe experience. So Vanessa, take it away. Hi everyone, um, and thank you for the introduction, Maureen. Um, I'm Vanessa Weisbrod. I'm the director of the Celiac Disease Program at Boston Children's Hospital. And I'm so excited to be partnering with Celiac Crews on the training elements and educational programming that you're going to see on board the ship. I had the honor of working with them on the first sailing that they did last year. And I was just blown away at the passion and commitment to excellence that this team has for planning a truly safe experience. So together over the next year, we are working on training the entire crew and staff at AMA through a series of rigorous pre-cruise trainings. We're working on developing cleaning procedures and bedding ingredients in all of the food that you're going to eat very carefully. So as you heard Connie mention, um, this is actually why there's going to be the first night of the trip is going to be a gluten-free immersive experience in Budapest. So while everybody on the trip is going to be enjoying a city tour, dining in a dedicated gluten-free restaurant, and getting to know each other, the staff of the Amalia are going to be removing everything from the ship and deep cleaning and bringing on only gluten-free ingredients so that when you and your families come on board the ship, you know that it's truly a dedicated gluten-free environment. So as I've been getting to know this team, um, Sebastian, who you hear from later, he calls it a floating hotel, which I, I love that term. You are going to get all of the amazing gluten-free meals, snacks, happy hours, even late night snacks, some um, tapas, you name it, um, all on the ship. Um, they're going to be giving you lists of vetted gluten-free bakeries and restaurants in each of the ports as well, so that when you're off the ship, you can um, sample some of the gluten-free delights in each place. Um, I've been working closely with Maureen and her team to develop educational programming, so there'll be lots of things to do on board the ship. We'll be having wine and wisdom events during the sailing, cooking demonstrations, discussions about research, so lots of wonderful activities for everyone to be involved with. I'm really looking forward to meeting many of you on the ship and spending time getting to know one another, learning together and eating together and just having a really great trip. So um, thank you, Maureen and team for having me here. And I can't wait to meet all of you on board. And now I'm going to turn it over to Sebastian, who is going to tell us about all of the wonderful places that we're going to see along the way. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Vanessa. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. 
actually after what I've heard, I mean, about wine with, I mean, wine and wisdom. I love this term. I had never heard that before. I've been with Ama Waterways for quite a few years, but I, this I will use again. So thank you so much for that. Um, I'm, I'm really happy and, and proud to be here because um, the, the, working with Connie, working with Maureen, working with Vanessa, um, for me, it's just the start of the project, but it, it's already been great. And I, and I can't wait to, uh, uh, to take everybody on a, on this virtual cruise, basically just to give you a little taste of what it will be. Um, and I really think the word taste is, is really great in that, uh, in, the, in that case. And when we, as we start this presentation, we would just like to give you a little introduction of what the Amalaya is, what Ama Waterways is all about, who we are, and then we will dive in. Please enjoy. So the Amalia is the newest ship in our beautiful Ama Waterways fleet. It uh, has different new touches. We have our beautiful sun deck with a nice swimming pool with a swimmer bar. A chess game for the ones who want to play chess. We have a 100 meter walking track. An elevator that is going down now also to the lowest passenger deck. We also have the more modern touches like the iPads in each stateroom where you can control your temperature, air conditioning, but even the TV from this iPad. That's a really state-of-the-art feature. Our chef's table restaurant is our fine dining option. So an alternative to the main restaurant and our two wine bars. We serve here the finest local cuisine. It's about 15 different tastes and they are all accompanied by fine local wines. We have 25 bicycles on board and you have seen that every bike tour is kind of fully booked and some of our guests will do a bike tour every day instead of doing the city tour and that's kind of a new trend. When it comes to design and interior patterns, colors, you see everything is um, very nice, elegant and a pastel, uh, very understated. And I believe that the guests on board, how they get along with each other, how they form their own family, it is part of the reason to go on a rubber cruise with Amar Waterways. There we are. So, oops, excuse me. So voila, so that's an introduction, usually at that stage, but now we have, we have so many people around tonight. I'm not going to ask you who wants to come because usually that, that's already enough to have people wanting to come. Uh, but I think it is a great introduction, especially for those of you who have not been uh, on a river cruise before. Uh, I mean, I'm really glad to, to know that many people have been on an ocean liner and tonight basically we will take you on a completely different experience. I like to call the ship the floating hotels. Yes, they have your floating boutique hotel. The size, of course, of uh, our vessels is completely different. The number of guests is completely different. And this has to do with the fact that uh, you are cruising not on open waters, but on uh, basically interior waterways. This will give you a completely different approach, a, different, a completely different experience when you visit the cities and also when you dock in the cities. Now, to start with uh, the ships themselves. So we uh, have our ships uh, in Europe, they are about 135 meters long and 135 meters, it corresponds to 443 feet. I know that I already ha always have to do the, uh, the, the, the conversion uh, and it's, it's a very, very nice size, especially when you, when you are on rivers like the Danube or maybe even later the Rhine, but the Danube being such a, a, a large river, you want a ship that will give you this impression uh, of, of comfort everywhere. The size of the staterooms uh, is also a very spacious, I mean, it's very spacious. Uh, and as you just could uh, discover, and I would like to focus on that because there will be a lot of, there has been a lot of work and there will be a lot of work um, on the uh, gluten-free uh, experience. Uh, and trust me, everybody at Ama Waterways is really excited about that. Uh, we we have truly embraced it simply because because also the relationship with uh, with Connie, with Maureen, with Vanessa, I mean, with everybody involved, it is really great. Um, and you just heard about the chef's table and, and 
what, what we want to do tonight is to give you a, a little sneak peek. So sometimes you will see a little bit of what will be offered to you. Um, and as uh, Vanessa and Maureen also explained, the most important is to know for you that once you start this tour, this vacation, because it should really be a, a, a really relaxed vacation, that you know that basically the ship is your oasis of gluten-free food. And you will be able to enjoy uh, absolutely wonderful meals, um, from the morning to the to the evening, really. I mean, Vanessa mentioned uh, even the late night snacks. I mean, basically, you, on, on this ship, you you can be fed approximately every twenty minutes, and the, the late night snack uh, is is usually served at at ten thirty p.m. So that's after dinner, and the only reason of being of the late night snack is to make sure that everybody survives until the next breakfast, which is served approximately six hours later. Uh, so you will see. Uh, the main dining room, you will see that we have the chef's table restaurant that is that is here. Uh, so very different uh, dining experiences. But what is very important to know is, of course, uh, we, we know and we are focusing on the celiac, so basically on the gluten-free aspect, but we will also accommodate um, additional uh, dietary requests or, or if there are dietary restrictions. The most important, as you can see here, for us is uh, that, that you'd be so kind when you will book to mention to us what are uh, these different allergies that will make the life of everybody absolutely wonderful on board uh, and you will see everything is reconfirmed when you arrive on the ship from the moment you check in you will if you if there are um, it can be a dairy a dairy or a nut allergy or something you will meet with our maitre d with the chef to make sure that everything goes fine from the very first moment when you step on so now let's talk a little bit about the, the on, on, I mean, off, off the ship experience. Uh, because of course, when you're on an ocean liner, uh, the ship is the destination. When you're on a river cruise ship, the places where you stop are really the destination. And you will see that there are many possibilities that are offered to you. The tours are included uh, and you have a lot of choices uh, that, that you will, you will see it, it's really a lot of them. Uh, we have different walking paces because we're very conscious that not everybody walks at the same pace or has the same walking capabilities. Uh, we have different uh, approaches, different interest, uh, uh, different interest tours. So we have what we call uh, the hikes. Uh, we will have the bike, the guided bike tours. We will have city tours, as you just heard in the video. Um, and we also uh, provide what we call special interest tours. So that's uh, for those of you who would have been in this area of the world, if there are any, and you would like to take a little different approach to a, a city that you will be visiting. The most important is that we have been searching, and trust me, I was so proud of myself when we talked last week, or actually it was at the beginning of this week, with Vanessa and, and Maureen and Connie, and I was really proud of myself because I came with my Find Me Gluten-Free app. I mean, I've been so involved with that. It's absolutely wonderful. And there are places, we will make sure that you can enjoy these places wherever we are, when we are docked in these different cities. The, what you see here, Simply Raw, is, is in the heart of Vienna. It's in the, it's in the first district, it's in the old district, and it's, it's simply a gluten-free cafe and lunch place. Uh, and we will, we will let you know so that you can really enjoy these cities um, and, and, and really not be, not be concerned about can I eat this? Can I eat that? No, you, we, will, we will make sure that you can enjoy all these little cafes or these little pastries that you would see there. Um, they are really absolutely wonderful. They are not calorie free. I will give you that. But at this stage, nobody really cares. So where are we going? Just a little map from Europe. OK, and uh, when you see all these rivers and all these black dots, so basically that's where we operate. But we will be focusing on the Danube River we will actually be focusing on the upper Danube River. So the, uh, the Danube uh, so starts really at this point here, the navigable Danube, and we will be going all the way uh, a little bit outside of this square to, uh, and from between Budapest uh, and uh, Wilshofen. So we are doing this part of the Danube. Beautiful place, scenic, very scenic uh, cruise that you will have there. So pretty much uh, this is how the trip looks like. So. Uh, we will be starting in Budapest. We will be disembarking in Wilshofen. So you will go through quite a few countries. And you will be cruising through Hungary, of course. Then you will be floating along, uh, I mean, along the border of two countries first, which will be Hungary and uh, the Slovak Republic. 
Then after that, you will be cruising between the Slovak Republic and, and Austria. You will go through Austria, through Northern Austria to end up in Bavaria in uh, Germany. So you have heard, and now I would like to take you on a on kind of a little virtual uh, virtual trip. And I, and I just saw a little comment in the chat, no calorie free, but who cares? Absolutely, I love it. So we, we, are, we are good to go on that. Um, so Budapest, actually it's, it's absolutely a great thing um, to have this night in Budapest because Budapest, so as the name says, Budapest, uh, you can, you can easily imagine that it's, uh, it's one city made of two different ones. And what you see here actually um, is the, the royal castle in Buda. So Buda is the hilly side and the picture is taken from the Pest side, which is the flat one. Um, what is so interesting about this town is that it has two completely different faces, one during the day, one during the night. And where, when, when you will be staying here the first evening and you will have seen the town during the day and then what I encourage you to do, and we will talk about that later, is just come back to the Danube River in the evening and enjoy the illuminations. This will be an absolutely amazing, magical moment. There are a lot of places that you will be discovering from the very beginning uh, on, this, on this tour. So of course, you will be welcomed. Uh, when you arrive in Budapest, you will be welcomed by uh, the Celia Cruz team, by AMA, the AMA Waterways team. Even if you're at the hotel, there will be one of our representative who will be there with you and to make sure that everything goes fine from the very first moment. Um, a little, a little uh, I, I love this picture because uh, every, every time I present it, people look at me like, what is this? So, and this is actually a part of the fisherman's bastion. So you uh, will see that, just keep that in mind. I know it's a year, a bit more than a year away, but this name, Fisherman's Bastion, that's absolutely beautiful. It is um, a line of defense, but it's just for decoration that has been built on the top of the Buddha hill. You will go there and from there, you will have the most magnificent view on this. So of course I took it at night uh, because, because it, it has to be a, a, little, a little bit appealing, but seeing the house of the parliament of Budapest from the other side of the city over the Danube, during the day is absolutely magnificent. There are quite a lot of spots to see. And that's what you will discover when you do the tour with Ama Waterways. You will go to the castle, to the to the castle hill. You will go to the hero square. The hero square is a gigantic square where you have statues of the most important heroes or, or kings and rulers of Hungary over the last 1000 years. Uh, you will see the Matthias Church, so actually the Fisherman's Bastion. So this this, this uh, line of defense that I just showed to you is around this Matthias Church or the so-called Coronation uh, Church as well. Really absolutely amazing way to start uh, your trip. And then you will, the next day, embark on board the uh, Amalia. When you will embark the Amalia, and of course, you see here, every, everybody looks a little bit formal. That's the picture. Don't forget that you will be on vacation. So the gentleman that you see on the right, the captain, the hotel director, and my colleague Chaba, who is actually a native of Budapest, uh, a cruise manager. Of course, we will be working, but you're on vacation. So enjoy your time. What happens is that you will arrive on the ship. Your luggage will be already in your stateroom, completely sanitized. Everything will be just fine. And then we will call you and invite you to come to the welcome cocktail. And actually, uh, and I'm sorry for the gentlemen who are watching, but the roses are only for the ladies. And uh, that's how you're welcome. The captain is here and we are here to welcome you. And we will give you this safety information, the, the information about the ship. And that's how we will start. From there, our ship will leave. We will be, and that will be absolutely wonderful because you will see again Budapest in the evening, but from the ship moving. So that will be a completely different experience. And for that, you heard uh, our, our um, co-founder uh, and, and uh, co-owner as well, Christine Carr, saying the sun deck is amazing. I can only agree with her. I've been a cruise director for Ama Waterways for 10 years. I've been in Budapest probably 60 times. Every time you see me giving the, comment, the commentary to our guests of what they have around them, because it is simply uh, breathtaking. You look left, you look right in front of the ship, in the back of the ship, it's everywhere. Absolutely superb. So we will be cruising the entire night. We will be passing, I told you a few minutes ago, we will be cruising along the Slovak Republic uh, and uh, we will see beautiful sights. But before that, since we'll be cruising the whole night, we will have the first dinner on board. 
you've seen in the video that there, are, that there is a lot of attention that is paid to detail, uh, but we are extremely proud. And that's why we can accommodate um, a, a, gl a gluten-free, 100% gluten-free cruise is because we source everything locally. So of course it will take us a day to prepare the ship, but after that, the ship will be ready for you and our chefs, uh, because we have multiple restaurants, so we have multiple chefs, and their teams will prepare absolutely wonderful meals for you. La Chaine des Rotisseurs, I want to mention them very briefly because we are uh, actually the only River Cruise Line member of this uh, culinary association, which is the oldest on earth because it was created in the 13th century in 1248. Um, and basically what happens with La Chaine des Rotisseurs is that this culinary association develops meals with us uh, and we make sure that we have only the best ingredients, the best presentation, and the best taste that is served to you. So I'm telling you that you will have a great time, whether it is in the main dining room or in the chef's table restaurant. And as you've heard, the chef's table, you will have a tasting menu. So 15 different, 15 different mini courses. It is a, a, a wine paired dinner. And we will talk about the wine in a few minutes because that's an important component unless i really see some messages saying no no we don't drink but if if uh, if not i will of course mention the wine um, and you will see that it's an absolutely amazing experience the chef's table is a little bit more intimate but i'm not talking only about the regular food we're also talking about desserts and these are a few examples of what will be for you right there ready at every at basically at the end of every dinner you will um, really love it. Actually, when I see these pictures again, I could go with you guys. Now, I um, I was talking about Slovakia, and I just want to show you also a few sites because what is amazing in a river cruise is that you don't you have sea days, but we don't spell it like on an ocean liner because when you have an ocean liner, the sea day is spelled S E A. We always have sea days S E E because you always have something to see when you're on the ship, no matter where you cruise, you, you're, you're surrounded by, uh, by the countries. And remember, when you will be headed from Budapest toward Vienna, you will pass another capital city. You will just go, flow through it, a very small town, but still a capital city called Bratislava. So you will see this beautiful castle before landing in uh, Vienna, which is an absolutely magnificent city. And I just don't know why my computer stopped. There you go. Um, it is an, an absolutely incredible city, but before arriving there, there will be a lot of choices in the tours. And what I want you to know, I mentioned the term vacation already a few times, and that's very, very important. That vacation means that you do things at your own pace. If you decide that you would just want that you just want to relax, don't forget that the ship will be yours for an entire week. So if you say, you know what, this morning I'm going to sleep in, and instead of having the breakfast, uh, I'm just going to have tapas at 11 o'clock when I wake up. I don't know if this will be the case, but this could be. You can totally do that, okay? So if you want to be active, be active. If you want to relax because you've been working the whole year and you just want to relax a little bit, do it as well. If you want to come with the family, the families are welcome because the Amalia has, has actually cabins that can be connecting. So we can do all this for you. Now, Vienna. Vienna, an absolutely amazing city. Um, I'm talking to you from Naples, Florida. I'm telling you that if I have to move back to, to Europe, I mean, I'm from France originally. Um, if I have to move back to Europe, that's the place where I'm going. I mean, Vienna is an amazing city for multiple reasons. And that's not just me saying that. The United Nations, uh, they have a program that rates every year what is or what are the top cities in the world with the, in terms of quality of life. Um, it's not based on money. It's not based on anything like that. It's based on the so-called Human Development Index. And uh, it includes a lot, a lot of parameters, quality, uh, so access to education, access to, to uh, culture, different types of museum, quality of transportation, quality of the air. Is there a lot of possibilities to practice sports? Um, absolutely amazing. And Vienna in the last 10 years has been worldwide eight times number one. So that says something to the to the quality of the city. The Viennese people are absolutely amazing, uh, and 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 the, the the way of life there, you will love it. And that's why we will spend we will spend quite some time in Vienna. The monument that you see there uh, is the Opera, and the Opera House in Vienna uh, is also absolutely unique because that's the only one in the world that plays 
one different opera every evening of the year. That's absolutely superb, and you will see it. It is located in the city center, but uh, we will talk about the tours that you will do in Vienna. But uh, again, very happy. Look at this, a restaurant in the Führerkasse. So that's, and you will see, I mean, don't worry about the pronunciation. We, we will do other sessions throughout the year once we will have booked the cruise and we, we will do German German pronunciation uh, courses as well. Uh, so Führerkasse, a restaurant, where basically everything is gluten free. And if you want even to take a look, go look at their menu. Uh, they are certified gluten free. Uh, the lady Petra uh, here, Petra Furich, who is actually the uh, the owner, uh, she has uh, she has the she's celiac, so she loves she loves to prepare this for uh, for guests. So absolutely amazing. Now I see a very important question. I'm not going to answer all the questions now. But I want to answer this one. What are the dates of the trip? It starts on October 23rd of 2022, and we will go until October 30th uh, of 2022 as well. I mean, not that we don't want to have you on board for a year, but that might be a little bit too long. So uh, restaurants and culture. You will see that when you're in Vienna, you will have multiple possibilities in the morning. You will be leaving the ship uh, either by bike or with a bus, and you will be visiting the city. You've seen uh, that uh, we have a lot of options. The bike tours are always guided. There's always a guide in the front, a guide in the back, and all the tours, the city tours, the regular tours are always in very small groups. So don't worry about feeling crowded or something. Um, we have a maximum, you know, we, we follow uh, what, uh, what of course the countries give us for instructions uh, when it comes to the size of the groups, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and we always have a maximum of 15 guests per guide. And that's very important for you and for the guide. Why is that? Because you want to be able to listen to what the guide has to tell you. And of course, they're all licensed and they speak perfect English. Um, but you also want to be able to, uh, to, to have your, your answers, your, your, the answers to your questions. And if you have a group of 40 people, there's no way when you do a walking tour, if everybody is asking one question, there's no way this will go right. So small groups means a relaxed guide, enjoying guests, and uh, that, that goes absolutely very, very well. So there is the, the morning tour. In the afternoon, there is the possibility to visit, because you will hear a lot about the Habsburgs family. So the Habsburger, the Habsburgs, uh, have been the longest ruler in Europe because they've been ruling, uh, the family has been ruling for more than seven centuries over Central Europe. And you've probably heard of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, that's who they were. Uh, and of course, uh, they were very, very powerful because they were able to make a lot of alliances. The city uh, has a lot, a lot of uh, testimonies of all these alliances, starting with the Ministry of War, which you will see. It's not, I mean, there is no war anymore. And no, it's not, it's not a building that is functioning, but the building is still there. And you have, you have a face of each and every division. So that it's, it, they took a soldier per division. Uh, depending on where they were from the empire and you have approximately 160 of them because there were so many different people and different kinds of people that uh, they wanted to show it it is an amazing town because you have also the music culture of course everybody knows the gentleman who is on the right do you i hope you do uh, his name was johann strauss jr okay the king of waltz he invented the waltz he was actually the, the kind of the the the, the the rock star of his time and because he was the first one when you think about waltz nowadays i mean like, oh that's something old at the time it was the first time where you had two people really uh, dancing close to each other this had never been seen before and he invented that uh, uh, so you cannot go to vienna without mentioning the Strauss family but also of course uh, wolfgang Amadeus mozart but many others gustav Mahler, beethoven uh, all these all these geniuses have been to Vienna, spent time in Vienna. And this, why? Because the Habsburgs family was financing all this. So there is also an optional tour uh, because we have basically 99% of the tours are included, but we also know that music is not for everybody. But in the case it is for you in Vienna that evening, so because we stay a full day in Vienna and that evening you will have the possibility to go to a Viennese concert. A Viennese concert is a little different from any concert you might have been to. Because a Viennese concert mixes, I mean, the music, that's the main component, it is there, but it also has a little bit of opera, so singers are there, and it also have a little bit of ballet. 
Uh, for those of you who watch, for example, on January the 1st, you have uh, the New Year's concert, which is actually broadcasted worldwide from Vienna, from the uh, Society of Friends of Music. That's what you see. You have the music, but you also have the ballet and the opera. Amazing, amazing time. But we will have to leave Vienna because you want to discover other places and you want to eat other things and you want to try other things. And the next day, I'm very sorry, but I will not talk too much about the food because what you see here, actually you could eat the grapes, but that's not really why they're here. You will be entering the Wachau Valley. The Wachau Valley is a very short one. And actually, I know that Vanessa has a very special bottle of wine tonight because she showed it to me earlier. And I have the neighbor winery right here uh, and these wines are Grüne Vetlina. And Grüne Vetlina is the grape from this very region. Absolutely amazing wine. And what I love to say is that these wines are gluten-free. I mean, all wines are gluten-free, but these wines especially. So the day, as you can see, if you look on the left, on the right, sorry, you see that there are a lot of tours because you have a lot of tours to choose from. You choose any of them. Huh? So you will have tours in the morning. So you can choose to visit Melk and Weissenkirchen. You can choose to go on a bike tour. You can choose to visit Dürnstein, absolutely wonderful place. You might have seen this village earlier. So of course, the picture that I show you here is not in the morning, but I think this one is very dramatic. Uh, Dürnstein is very famous for what? For the blue tower of its monastery, but also for the castle that you have at the top. The castle is the place where Richard the Lionhearted was imprisoned when he came back from the Third Crusade. And he was captured on his way back stayed there for about three months and you will learn about all the history uh, of this castle and of this little village and how he was liberated another very special thing about Dürnstein so of course you will be able to choose to go on the hike so you can hike up to the castle tough hike real hike but so rewarding when you're at the top you have a beautiful view on the entire area but you can also choose not to go on this hike and you can choose to go on a different tour a special interest tour that will take you to an apricot tasting, the so-called Marillen. Uh, so the Marillen, that's, they, they do everything with Marillen in this area. So it's a, it's a microclimate uh, and they do uh, schnapps, they do soap, they do uh, um, uh, jelly, marmalade, uh, they, they even engine cleaner for their car. I mean, they do everything with this. Uh, so it is a, a unique tasting that you can choose uh, to have, or we can also take you on a wine tasting inside this very monastery there, and you will taste the Grüne Vetlinas. So the fine wines, the wines, they are very important on the ship and off the ship. I did not mention them too much earlier, but you will see that when you're on the cruise, the, all the wines are included at lunch and at dinner. If you want to have champagne for breakfast, champagne is included as well. If you want to have a beer, we have gluten-free beer, of course, on board the ship. So no worries about that. You will enjoy everything. Uh, and um, you will also see that we do not have uh, on the ship, and that's one of the rare times where I say we do not, um, we do not have a house wine. Why don't we have a house wine? Because we've figured very rapidly that if you don't like the house wine on day one, it's very unlikely that you will, likely on, uh, you will like it on day four or five. So that's why it's better to have multiple ones that are local wines, and then you can sample them all. And uh, if you want to have a nice little glass of wine refilled just before going up on the Sunday in the evening after your dinner, just ask your waiter or your server. And trust me, they will be very generous with you. I mean, you will go to bed very happy. Um, so second part of the day, because we are still in the Wachau Valley, milk. I hope that you've noticed that so far I have not talked one time about religion, no church, no nothing. Because usually when people talk about Europe, they talk about churches. Uh, um, Melk has to be mentioned. It is the most beautiful Baroque Abbey that you will see. I will just give you a little glimpse to uh, the, 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 the library of Melk, which was uh, in the 12th century, the, the most important and central Europe. Uh, it was really, Melk was an attraction point. For, it was founded by Benedictine monks. Uh, and uh, it was really a, a, a place of knowledge. Just take a little look at that. That's just a little part. Okay, and you will visit that. Um, what is very important to know as well, and I mentioned different pace of, of walk, uh, pace of tours. Uh, if you have, I mean, it can be that maybe some of you would be concerned because you, you can have difficulties going up or down stairs. That's really not a problem because on board the ship, we have an elevator that can take you everywhere. When we go to places like Melk, for example, they also have an elevator inside the Abbey. 
granted it's not an original one because the abbey is a 1000 years old one but uh the elevator is here um and and, and that's the same on most of the tours huh? so we uh of course it, it is good to be mobile but if you have problems with stairs do not worry we will take care of you as well so i was talking about the wine because so far, I've just covered the morning. So you started with a wine tasting at 9.30 a.m. Don't forget that. But we don't want to finish the wine the, the day this way. So what we will do, we will pick you up with the ship, will pick you up in milk. We will be cruising, having a very nice lunch uh, on board the ship and maybe a little bit, uh, maybe we, we might even have a little lecture on, on uh, uh, food in, uh, in this area of the world. But then we will arrive in Grain. Grain is a super small village, but you want to visit this castle. The castle is in the property of the Sachsen Coburg Gotha family, which is don't worry about the name. You will you will hear it very much uh, when you will be on the ship. Um, but basically, what you want to retain is that it's the mother family of the Windsors. So the royals from England originally they all come from this from this family, and we will take you there. It is a beautiful hunting lodge, and uh, we will see, of course, when you go up there. You will see all the trophies because I was searching for my word the other day. We were talking about that, and I'm like, "Where are? What is the word for the for when they're hunting?" The trophies will be all over the place, and you will have also another beautiful wine tasting. I'm not telling you everything that you will see and that you will have because uh, we want to make sure that you have some surprises when you go there. But it will be a beautiful time. Just a little picture. That's an appetizer, for example, at the chef's table restaurant. And just to you know be a little mouth watering the next day linz is the place where we will be docked but you will have the possibility to go to salzburg salzburg once again very important and i know you cannot talk again but uh, i mean you could if you wanted but uh very important for two things mozart because that's where he was born but okay, I will give you also the sound of music. Uh, so uh, the sound of music, that's the entire area and the so-called Salzkammergut, so the Lake District, the Austrian Lake District, on the way to the White City, to Salzburg. Absolutely superb. You spend the entire day there, should you want to do so. But if you want to discover Linz, you can do that as well. Uh, but what I wanted to say uh, when with my little research is, is that there are really a lot of gluten-free possibilities in Salzburg. Uh, uh, there are a lot of restaurants. And one that I found, and I've been there myself, but I did not know that they had a complete gluten-free menu, is a beer garden. It's called Zum Stern, uh, so the star. Um, and, and, and I just wanted to, to show you these two pictures because that's the outside and the inside. Because when you're there in October, it can go both ways. It can be still very, very nice and sunny. Uh, but it can be also a little bit cooler. But you love these little beer garten, uh, so the, uh, because they also have the, these, these inside interior rooms. Um, and actually, it doesn't look that big here, but I can tell you that they have rooms for approximately 800 or 900 people, if need be, because uh, the, the, the Austrians really like uh, to go and have their beer or have, you know, they're very tradition people, they're very routine people. Uh, and that's what we love, that's what I love about them. Uh, but you will be able to go there. It is, and again, if you go to Stern, and you will see it is there, the gluten-free menu, they're very proud of it. But as I mentioned, Linz also there. So what I think is very interesting with Linz, if you decide to stay, um, because the ship is docked the entire day, so you don't have to go to Salzburg. If you're not interested in the sound of music, well, good, I mean, that's okay. The ship is your, your house for a week. So enjoy the ship. And if you just want to go for a walk, because the ship is actually, you, know, you see, uh, the, the main square here, and if you look behind and you see a bridge here, the ship is docked right there, down there. So it's docked four minutes away from the city center. And what I love in Austria, and especially in Linz, is the different kinds of architectures that are mixed, because you have a lot of classical architecture and you have ultra modern. And the, the building that you see back there is the so-called uh, Ars Electronica, which is the, the new science and technology museum, one of the most advanced in entire Europe. So. A lot of things to do. If you want to go to go on the, on the hike, you have the Pustling Berg. You have a lot of different. If you want to do shopping, we did not even talk about shopping yet. You can do a great shopping in Linz as well. So this I can tell you. You also have the possibility to go to Czech Republic. Why not? Uh, and visit Czech Krumlov, a beautiful medieval village, completely preserved, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The only recommendation for this one, make sure you have good walking shoes, because in all these areas where you have everything protected by the UNESCO, 
basically this means that you will have cobbled stones and not the nice little cobbled stones that we know here no 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 these ones are 800 years old so they are that big they are round so make sure that you have the good walking shoes and then you will come back to the ship and we will have again a beautiful dinner that will be there it will be our captain's dinner you will have also the sip and sail so every day i did not even mention the sip and sail every day we have a cocktail hour one hour before dinner to make sure that everybody can enjoy uh the oh uh, that 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 you you will enjoy the the fact that you can share with everyone all the places where you've been because you have all these tours and i call it more the social hour because you really see that everybody says, oh, I've been there, I saw that. And you have this exchange of pictures, et cetera, et cetera. And that's what makes also the Danube absolutely amazing because you can come back the next year with all these tours and visit completely different places. So you can be, you can be uh, really on the same river, but you will see a different facet of this river. But then the next day we will go to Passau. So we're leaving, we are leaving Austria, we are arriving in Bavaria. And if we say Bavaria, we are not talking wine anymore. We are talking, Oktoberfest. Uh, so we are talking of the largest beer fest in the world. And uh, we will be visiting Passau, which, by the way, has a magnificent cathedral. The cathedral itself, I mean, the, the religious aspect, once again, not so important. But the organ, the largest church organ in the world, the largest pipe organ in the world, still in function, working absolutely superbly, 31,600 pipes. And you will have the possibility to hear it because pretty much an organist plays there every day. Uh, so usually uh, you want to be there around 11.30, but we will talk about that once again later. Uh, really absolutely crazy, crazy place. Uh, and the ship is docked right here. So that's the city right there. And the ship is docked right in the middle. So if you want to just walk out, you just walk out. And in the afternoon, we will be cruising to our end point. And the end point is called Wilshofen. This often is not very far, approximately 16 miles, uh, 13 miles away, sorry, so 20 kilometers. And um, I've had guests, for example, telling me, hey, Sebastian, for our last afternoon, can we just take a bike and we meet you in Vinsholfen? Yeah, you just have to follow the river. So just make sure that you follow the river in the right direction, of course, because you might have a surprise at the end. Uh, but you go there and we meet. And at the end, we will have to finish with, and I know that our ladies are ready they have already started their own Oktoberfest. Can I please see the gluten-free pretzels there? Exactly. Thank you, Vanessa. Thank you, Maureen. And, and the, and the gluten-free beer. And we will have a gluten-free Oktoberfest, completely gluten-free with uh, the, the beer, the pretzels, the umpapa music, the dancers, etc., etc. And you cannot get lost because this is our tent. And the ship is docked right outside. The tent is... Let me lie, eight yards away from the ship. Okay, so if you get lost there, there's not much I can do for you. Uh, but since it's the end of the cruise and the ship is not moving anymore, we should be fine. Ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty much what I have for you. That's pretty much the trip that we are preparing for you. Uh, a magnificent gluten-free trip. Uh, and uh, we, we, we very much look forward uh, to seeing you there. So now I will give back the microphone to my dear colleagues. Uh, because I'm sure that uh, there will be questions that need to be answered. Of course. Wow, Sebastian, that, that was fantastic. I just wish I could go tomorrow, but time, we'll get there, everybody. Um, all right, let's go through some of these. And if we do not get to your question, know that um, we will respond via email. So um, just know that. Uh, single occupancy, if I did find a room. We do have single occupancy options. Uh, Connie, why don't you take that? It's about um, whether we have single options for sleeping arrangements. Sure, thanks. So uh, we do have, uh, the, all cabins on the ship can have two beds separated. So your question was if you found a friend to come with you, two single friends traveling together, or you know, brother and sister, or whatever, uh, you, the room, the bed can be together or the beds can be apart. So we can accommodate that. We also have a special, if you um, want a single occupancy cabin by yourself, uh, normally it's 200%. Uh, right now we have a special through our April date um, where we're only offering it for 150%. So be sure and email us about that at the end of the program and we'll tell you more about it. Great, thank you. My husband and I follow plant-based or vegan, but my brother needs gluten-free. How will you address? We are happy as, as Sebastian suggested, as well as 
Vanessa, we most definitely are able to accommodate different dietary needs, inclusive of vegan. So that shouldn't be an issue. I mean, the only thing that will be consistent aboard the ship is that everything is gluten-free, but we can do plant-based, we can do vegan. Um, we just, like Sebastian had suggested, we just wanna know that in advance so to ensure we have what is needed. Okay, let's see. Cancellation policy. Connie, why don't you take that at this point? Sure. So because this is a full ship charter, um, we have to be able to ensure that we have a full ship to be able to charter this ship. So our final, uh, everything is completely refundable until our final payment in October. After October, the uh, penalties begin, but we will offer you trip insurance that would cover you in case you got sick and couldn't go, or if there was some extenuating circumstance where you couldn't travel because of health reasons or health reasons for a family, close family member, then you would be reimbursed through the insurance. So um, up until October, it's completely refundable. Great. Are the bike tours available to families with kids too? Sebastian? Yes, they and are. Absolutely. They are because we have different size of bikes. Uh, so we have, uh, so the, the, the smallest bikes that we have in terms of wheel size is 24 inches. So we have 24, 26, and 28 inch. So absolutely, they are available to families. Awesome. All right. We don't drink wine. Is there a hard liquor option? Sebastian, take that as well, please. Yeah. <laughs> you, you really think that I will say no to that? Yes, there is. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have, we have, of course, a full bar. I mean, do, do, do not worry. We have, uh, we, we can, and, and you know, it has happened sometimes that guests, even some of our guests had some specific requests. And if we, we really have a full bar on the ship, but sometimes, you know, something happened and we did not have it. Latest by the next day, we had found a way to, to get what the guest request. So do not worry if you, uh, if you want to drink something else, we will, we will have it for you. Excellent, thank you. Is Prague happening after? Also, can Budapest be extended? Connie, that's all you. Okay. Um, so yes, uh, we are going to be offering Prague. We do have a minimum number of uh, rooms that of people that have to go. So we're going to take a, a list of everybody that's interested in going to Prague, and then we will. We know what the prices are already, so we'll you'll know what you're signing up for. And then once we hit our magic number of ten, then we'll be able to offer the Prague extension. And Sebastian's done that extension several times, so he knows how wonderful it is. And we also. We'll have one night in Budapest included, but if someone wants to come in a day before that or another day before that, we'll be able to offer that too. Right now, unfortunately, the Budapest hotels are still closed. So uh, we think it's going to be the Marriott in Budapest. We've had conversations with them and we're pretty sure that that's what we're gonna do. But until it's open, we're not 100% sure. So I'm sure, I'm sure you um, understand. All of those locations are right on the river. So we can get a great sample at nighttime to see where we will be the next day. So that will definitely be, it will be right where we need to be. Um, is it kid friendly? You know, we do have some families that have already booked that are traveling with children, yes. Um, I'm going to leave my three at home because I'm going to be busy making sure everything is perfect for you all. But yes, there will be, there will be children. Um, tell me more about the wine and champagne. Well, Sebastian alluded to that, there's, there's plenty Plenty of that, that is for sure. Um, will each room be able to accommodate a family of four, two adults and two children? Um, the suites, Connie, we can do that in the suites. So basically what happens for four people, you have two options uh, and there are two things to, to, to consider. Um, what, I, what I would say is that if we are talking about two young kids, a suite could do it. Um, if we're talking about teenagers or something, I recommend to, to use the, I mean, you would need two cabins that are connecting because you also don't want to forget that if you have four people, might be much more, of a, much, much more, uh, much nicer if you have two bathrooms um, and, and, and it would be a little bit more space as well. But yes, it is, it is absolutely possible. The suites, and, and don't forget the suites. Um, so you have the main bed and a queen, a pull out sofa that is a queen size bed. Uh, whereas if you have the two connecting rooms, you can really set it up the way you want. Uh, you can have, uh, I mean, uh, one bed in one room and one large bed for in one room and, and set and twin ones in the other or twin twins everywhere. So that's really flexible. Excellent. 
How is airfare arranged? Cammie? Mm -hmm. um, so once airfare comes out about tw uh, 11 months before the, the sailing. So probably around mid-November, we'll be able to offer airfare to everyone. Um, we're asking everyone not to book their airfare until we are sure that, that we have the minimum number for our charter. But usually airfare comes out around November and we'll, we'll have contracted rates that we'll be able to offer you uh, typically that are discounted. So we'll be able to offer some special deals um, to you because you're booked with us uh, to get the flights that you want and you know the airline that you want. And we can even help you if you're gonna be using airline points, we can even help you with our knowledge to find you know the best connections and that sort of thing. And we don't charge any fees for that. Great. Are there extra costs for chef's table and or optional tours? Sebastian. So, uh, so regarding the regarding the chef's table, absolutely not. Uh, it is it is it is included. Um, and and so the idea when you have the chef's table, you have twenty eight guests maximum. So when you think uh, there was also another question with how many guests on the ship, one hundred fifty six. So if you make if you divide one hundred fifty six by twenty eight, you have a practice, you're just above five. Uh, so people, everybody, the idea is that everybody should be able to go once during the week. Um, this being said, if you really loved it and you want to go a second time, just go to the reception team and they will, they will be more than happy if there's an evening where there are a few spots available, they will be happy to, to, uh, to uh, get you a spot there uh, a second time. So no cost. Now, optional tours. Optional tours, there's not a lot of them. There, there's only one. Uh, that's the concert. And yes, in this case, oh, there, there's two, sorry. In Vienna, there is two uh, because you have, the, you have the Schönbrunn Palace, so the, the, the summer residence of the Habsburgs. Um, but so we are talking about uh, roughly, and, and I really don't have the numbers in my head, but we are talking around $50 a person for Schönbrunn and around $70 a person for the concert. And I, if I just, I know it will take one more minute, but I want to just give you a little anecdote that happened to me on board the ship regarding the concert uh, in 2018. And, I, and I, yeah, I, I tend not to forget these details. <laughs> um, but I had two guests who told me, oh, $70 a person is too much. And I'm like, okay, no problem. I'm not forcing you. So they, what happens in Vienna is that when you're, when you're finishing the city tour, you finish at the, at the St. Stephen's Cathedral and you have all these folks who are legit. I mean, they are, uh, they, they are absolutely legal and they sell you tickets for concerts. But there are a few aspects to consider in Vienna. First of all, the first one is that you have about 100 concert halls in Vienna. They are not big. They are all, all of them. The largest one is the Redoutensaal. Uh, in, the, in the Imperial Palace, it's 600 people. It's really, when you think about it, it's not big. Um, but the problem is that you don't know if it's a full orchestra or if it's a chamber orchestra. If it's a chamber orchestra, you only have four people. So it's not the same experience. Second, um, you would, I mean, what, what you have in these, in these $70, and the price, by the way, in Vienna is the same for everyone. Uh, the seats in category A, which are the front rows, the very nice ones, that's 56 euros. That's, you, you don't go around it. That's a price fixed by the city. So when you think about it, you know that the ticket is already 56 euros. So basically for 14, 12, $13 more, um, you will have the bus, the guide, the wardrobe, the intermission champagne drink that is included, and um, even the CD. I mean, and, and I know nobody uses CD anymore but at least it can be a, a souvenir of old Europe. Uh, so you have, the, you have the, the CD of the concert. So these folks decided not to go with us. What happened to them? They had to book a taxi. So of course, and we do that. We call the taxi for them. Uh, the taxi arrives. First of all, they went to the wrong venue. So they missed the beginning of the tour uh, of, the, of their concert. Uh, and when you miss the beginning, you cannot enter. So they could only see half the concert. It was a chamber orchestra. And then they had to pay the taxi back. So, the lady, the, the, this was the gentleman's idea, not, sorry, gentlemen, but it's really true. The lady came to me and they were going to Prague with us uh, because in Prague, there is a folklore dinner. And she's like, no matter what he says in Prague, we're going with you. So it's really these, these, these tours, that's not, that's very reasonable. And the quality, the value is incredible. Good, good, good intel there. We'll keep that in mind. Snacks during tours. Should we bring our own snacks? Say protein bars or anything. Oh, be still my heart. Um, we're going to try and avoid your needing to bring that suitcase full of snacks. But obviously, if there's things that you are used to, um, you know, as Sebastian said, 
there's food pretty much nonstop. What is nice about the river cruise concept, and anyone jump in if for some reason I misspeak, but I know compared to the ocean liner concept of being able to take things on and off the ship, things are just not as restrictive. Um, so, you know, if you want to wrap up something, bring some Ziplocs or we can bring some and, you know, stuff something in your bag so you have it for you. But we're also really going to be vetting every detail here to make sure you all have the cultural component of this experience. So if something feels like, I mean, as you know, as you can probably pick up, that's my passion. I want this to feel exactly like it would have without the gluten restrictions. So we're going to be sure we replicate that. So if you have favorites, bring them. If not, I hope we can accommodate what you need. Um, we'll go with if, Vanessa on a field trip for two months. Testing oh, yes. All the oh, yes. Field trips are necessary. If I do not drink at all, will there be juices, et cetera? Sebastian? Absolutely. 100%. So juices, soft drink, milk. Yeah, absolutely. Everything is there. You know, ginger ale, whatever you want. We, we have. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Is there an excursion to the thermal spas in Budapest? Uh, so not so we do we do not uh, organize a tour there, but but definitely if you want to go, I mean we we will we will set every I mean we will get the cab for you. Uh, that that's really easy. We will get the tickets. We will even tell you where to go and where not to go because you have I mean you know that's that's always the same thing. I mean the most beautiful is the Sesheni bath. Uh, bath. Uh, that's the, the 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 one of the oldest and the most beautiful. But yes, we we will definitely help you with that. Okay. If we brought our 11 year old on this cruise, are there some things that will entertain her besides all the delicious desserts? Very nice. Um, I think that, you know, we have had a conversation about just kind of seeing what our numbers look like as it relates to, if there are some, some children trying to fine tune excursions and events like that for you all. I mean, this is our ship. It is 100% our ship. So we're able to kind of tweak this stuff. So. I mean, most definitely if we have, and as Sebastian just suggested, you know, we can create independent experiences for you if that's something more applicable to your family. Um, is there a wheelchair or scooter rental available, Sebastian? Yes, there is. Uh, there is. Uh, the only thing when it comes to wheelchair and scooter, uh, there is one, and that's just for safety, one policy is that uh, the person who will be using that needs to be able to go a full flight of stairs. It is just in an emergency case. Uh, you, you would have to be able to go a full flight of stairs on your own. So, but for the rest, for tours, et cetera, et cetera, absolutely. We put that in the trunk of the, uh, of the coach. If, it, if, if there's a coach tour, I mean, if, you know, for example, when you're in Vienna, you start, I mean, Vienna is a big city. So you need to start by a coach tour to, to take, to get an overview. And after that comes the walking part. But there, yeah, scooter. I mean, we have an electric scooter on board every ship and we have a, a, a few wheelchairs on board every ship. Yep. Excellent. Are meals sit down or some buffet? Everything sit down. Okay, perfect. Excellent. That's a, that's a, we can say thank you, COVID. <laughs> There's definitely some, some, some perks of that. Um, let's see. Vaccinations, oh yes, um, a topic that you know we all are cover are thinking about daily. Um, at this point, you know nothing has been specifically stated. I mean, and Sebastian, you can speak to this too. Um, I think it's going to be more dependent upon what the countries we are traveling to determine. Um, so, as opposed to it being a cruise ship rule, it's going to be more determined by what the countries ask their passengers or guests to have. So, you know, that again, we don't know that information as of today. Hopefully October 2022, very far away. We all hope a lot of this will be far behind us. So, um, so if we did not get to your question, because we want to be respectful of time here, um, we will most definitely go through these and email you with a response. Um, oh, wedding accommodations. Oh, goodness. We can talk. Nothing would make me happier. Nothing. Event planner in my background. So I love that. So let's talk about it. Um, but yeah, so we will get to your questions and via email if for some reason we did not cover them tonight. Um, we want to thank you guys for being here, spending a Wednesday evening with us. We hope it was informative. We hope to see you in October of 22 to be on the first ever 
this is history, 100% gluten-free crews. That we will toast to. Let's teach Cheers. the world what Roast. they need to know. Cheers, guys. And as you can see, if you book by April 20th, which is not too far away, uh, uh, we're offering $500 per person off, so. Beautiful Little video to finish. Step aboard a world of exceptional experiences, where your journey is our passion. Allow us to share villages that time forgot. Walk along cobblestone streets filled with the lights. Paddle through historic town squares and revel in moments that last a lifetime. When you step aboard Arma Waterways, each day brings a genuine smile that warms the heart. Every river a new culture that inspires, and each course a moment to savor and share. Experience these wonders and delights with Arma Waterways, the heart of the river. Well, thank you all so much for being here. We really appreciate it. Um, if you have additional questions, you can send them to info at celiacruise.com. Or then again, as Connie stated, so you can submit a registration form on our website. So Sebastian, thank you. Thank you for having me. Everyone have a wonderful evening and we hope to see you in Budapest. Take care everyone.